And that's great. My bag lady, on the other hand, <laughs> my bag lady could grow more facial hair than me, which is not necessarily that amazing, but still. And she had a voice like this. And she was scary. And she was antisocial. And she didn't give a damn about you in any way she performed. And I thought to myself, you know, people write songs about Mary, because people did write songs about Mary, about how great she is. Oh, Mary, she's lovely, blah, blah, blah. No one will write a song about my bag lady, because my bag lady doesn't offer a service. She doesn't do anything redeemable in any single way. So I thought, damn it, I'm going to write her a song. And I was thinking, how can I write her a song? How can I write her a song? What, what can I write about? And I watched her from afar, and I sort of got it. And then one night I saw her, um, well, you, you probably all remember the, the, uh, the famous um, um, vendor and a merchant in Toronto, a guy named Honest Ed. It was around his birthday time, he was a Leo, and, and every July, he would hang a balloon of himself. So like a, a little sort of Jewish Michelin man would stand up there. <laughs> Seriously. It was half off, and it would sort of bob gently up and like this. And he would shine spotlights on it. And I got home, it was late at night, and I saw the spotlights on the big balloon on his head. And they're bobbing gently. And, 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 and right around the corner, there was my bag lady. And I'm looking at the bag lady, and I'm looking at the Honest Ed sculpture of sorts, the balloon thing, the balloon sculpture, and I'm looking at it, and I thought, this, this, this is a song. This is, I, I just think about it, I think about it. So I thought about it, and I think I came up with something. Like I said, I never knew her name, I just gave her name, I called her Magpie. So here we go, ready? Ready? One, two, one, two, three. North window goes across the street and bites her face with hard blood.
Okay, so this is another one that goes way back. This has been a this is a great opportunity to really dust off some songs uh, that have been uh, that we were happy to play once. We didn't play. We don't play too much anymore, and it's just so nice to be here to be able to do it in an atmosphere like this. So this is great. So thanks once again for stopping by. Uh, this is yeah. This is a very very early song. Um, this is called Shirley Bean's Final Carouse. It goes like this. One, two, one, two, three. It was a night in November when roads finally surfaced just like a World War II U-Bone submarine. Out of 24 hours. Mexican diner, a doctor to a cafe, couch in a bed. Well, they got a reputation for lots of talk and no action, drinking tequila, just flapping the jowl. 